going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. You'll return the subscriber as always. Guys, welcome back and I do appreciate the support. Guys, I want to talk about how, you know, we all know people can be cruel. But some of the stuff people do nowadays, man, it's beyond me. I mean, just my sense of like rationale. Like, why would somebody even do this? You see this woman up here? This woman's 46 years old, or was 46 years old. She was from the Las Vegas area or somewhere around those parts. This woman's name was Kristen Avalar. May she rest in peace. Ladies and gentlemen, this uh, woman, who was a wife and a mother of three, was found in a suitcase. Her body was bent up and put in the luggage and left near an apartment complex, just out in the open. Police got a call of a suspicious suitcase or whatever, went out there and found her. How you bend somebody up in a suitcase is beyond me. What else is beyond me is how you leave that out in the open for anything to find. Kid, homeless person, so on and so forth. Man, people right now, man, have no respect or anything for just human life and how things look. I said a while ago, man, you're going to start seeing just dead people just piled up on the side of the road like roadkill one day. It's a perfect example of that. Take a look at this. A woman is dead after a gruesome crime and investigators need help finding her killer. You're watching 8 News Now at 11. I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm Brian Loftus. Her body was found Thursday stuffed into a suitcase near an apartment complex in the Central Valley. 8 News Now reporter Madison Kimbrough joining us live from Metro Police Headquarters with those details. Brian Denise, that woman's name, Kristen Avalar, 46 years old. She was found around uh, 430 in the morning that Thursday. Now it's still unclear uh, what led up to this as police are still trying to piece together exactly how they were alerted to this disturbing crime. It did catch my eye that there was a police car just parked along, right in the middle of the street, basically. And unfortunately, when I was going back to work, I realized the white tents were up. And typically that's just a sign of something a little bit more serious. So I figured there was a body. Metro police releasing details into a suspicious death investigation that occurred last Thursday, October 3rd. LVMPD reporting that this woman, 46-year-old Kristen Avalar, was found dead inside of a luggage bag near an apartment complex near Spencer and Reno Avenue. And it just, it's a very morbid crime. Um, and was she dropped off there? Was it done near it here? I just, it's... Yeah. Yeah, it's very gruesome. In trying to find details about who Avalar was, we were able to talk to a former neighbor of hers who shared that she and her husband owned a trucking company that has since gone out of business, also sharing that she was a mom of three. While it's unclear what apartment complex her body was found at, those who live nearby noticing heavy police activity last week, but say it's been quiet since then. I love this neighborhood. Um, it's been it's a really tranquil street, so it was a little um, alarming that it, something like this just hit very close to home. Metro detectives asking anyone with information to come forward and you can call Crime Stoppers at the number on your screen to remain anonymous. Reporting here from Metro headquarters, Madison Kimbrough, 8 News Now. Guys, that's the story of this lady, Kristen Avalar, age 46, found bent up and packed into a suitcase and luggage and left on the street for anybody to find. Now, people, you know, the, the Las Vegas Police Department is asking for help from the community now it says she was married so i know they're going to do their due diligence and look and see if the husband has something to do with it but i forgot to add on the recording that that area that she was found in she used to live in five years ago when people haven't seen them since then so i don't know if she was around there or what but either way man you don't leave somebody like that you know a long time ago somebody would viciously murder somebody and hide them and then years later you come across something that was hidden and then you open it up and boom it'd be like something decayed or something morbid that you would find now people are just walking down the street just dropping stuff off for anybody to come across you walking down the street you see some luggage or you see something that ain't supposed to be there you better not open it up you know what i mean 
I told you guys that story when I was about eight years old. I found the torso of a, a white woman. You know, she ain't had no arms or legs in a, in a trash bag at a railroad yard behind my house with a couple of my friends. Every time I see trash bags just sitting there that don't look like they're supposed to be sitting somewhere, I never open them up. I never think, uh-uh, no. You know what I'm saying? I just It's just something I remembered from that. It's like, okay, I ain't calling it PTSD, but I'm like, okay, I'm not opening that up. I don't need to know that bad if it's in a trash bag and it's outside. No, nah, let somebody else find that. But I mean, just the way people are dumping human beings off like common trash in the street at alarming rates is scary. That woman has kids. A woman somebody's wife. For somebody to do her like that, that show a lot about how you care. How you care. I mean, back in the day, people would have qualms about killing a woman, especially if she had children and stuff like that. Even if they had an issue with it, they might just let the person live. Not nowadays. Ain't nothing like that now. You piss somebody off, they going for broke. They taking you out of here trying to. That's crazy. Looking at that woman, she like a small woman. So maybe she could fit in that suitcase. They said she was stuffed in it. They didn't say she was chopped up and put in it. They said she was stuffed in it. So somebody took her and bent her up like a pretzel and then just, you imagine going out like that? Seriously. Just, I don't know who did it. Hopefully they'll find out who did this. But I mean, my thing is, it's bad enough that an atrocity like that happened. And it's even worse that it wasn't, they didn't try to hide it. They just put it out there for anybody to come along. What if some kids was playing around? You know, kids are curious. Playing around, see the luggage. Oh, I'm taking it home. Drag it home to their apartment, go in the house, then open it up, and there's a woman in there. Now you call the police, your house is a crime scene. It's just crazy how somebody would be so, I don't want to say careless, because, I mean, maybe they wanted to, Send a message and have it be seen. But either way, man, that's trifling behavior. And that, that's sickening. And that just shows you the, the way the world is going. People are desensitized to violence and gore and doing uh, crazy stuff to each other. I mean, it's a whole nother level of hatred of humankind that a lot of human beings have inside of themselves for other people. And they walk around us every day and you never know it until you strike that nerve with them. And then this type of stuff happens. That's the part that's sad. We are far, far removed from what we want this planet to be as human beings. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Region Channel. Like I said, may this woman, uh, Christian Alvarez, uh, Al Al Avalar, rest in peace, 46 years old. The last sentence in a book of life is stuck in the, uh, stuffed in a suitcase. Don't nobody want that at the end of their uh, lifespan. See you in the next video. Take care.